Hello guys and gales. Peace be with you all, and welcome to 412 TV. If you like this video, please subscribe, if you haven't done so. And let me know what you think. By leaving your comments below. Enjoy watching. anyone in the upper, you'd have sent him to hell on a shutter. Sorry, Mr. Bixby. By God, Mr. Otis, you will stow those damned irons in your carpet bag, or I'll stop this train and set you out in Wyoming on your boots. In September of 1874, Wild Bill Hickok came back to the Old West. I didn't place him then because he was wearing a different name and he had a strange bee in his bonnet. A deadly dream that was eaten out his soul. A nightmare that he had to hunt down and face up to before it turned him into a raven maniac. I ought to know, I was there. Morning, Mr. Otis. Good morning. I regret the flummery of last night. Well, at least now I understand why it happened. I wish I did. You don't have to kick chips with me, son. Time back, you caught yourself a cold in the pants that just wouldn't let loose of you, right? It's a scar that never heals. First, it gets into your eyes. They can't stand the daylight, even a bright moon. Then it rattlesnakes into your brains. You start dreaming nightmares. All bad. This white buffalo keeps charging me, real as rain. Well, son, <laughs> that dream is safe enough. The last white spike was put down by Prairie Dog Day Morrow last month. <laughs> Way to heaven gone on the Cimarron. <laughs> Where you headed? Mr. Otis, a tenderfoot like you isn't thinking of staking a claim in the Black Hills. Says there, new land of promise. It don't promise nothing but a quick grave in a Sioux boneyard. Uh-oh. -uh.
She's got to the stars. Crazy Horse, my son, it is not fitting that the war chief of the Oglalas weeps like a young woman. Therefore, I take away your true name. You shall be called Worm. Where does her body lie? At Enchanted Mesa, above the lake, we placed her far from the whites and safe from wolves. It is time you sought out the holy bull. The little one will be forever tortured in the other world until you wrap her in his white robe and cleanse her spirit of its pain. sacred voice, I call you. With a weeping heart, I ask this. Help me to find the white buffalo. My voice is on the smoke. Thank you, Holy Grandfather. Cheyenne. Ten minutes stop, folks. Ten minutes. What's that contraption? Buff bones. All that's left of 60 million spikes that once roamed the coast of Kansas. My God. Jesus, Bill. James Otis is the name, Pete. I heard you were back in Gotham, play acting on the stage with Billy Cody and making a barrel. Making a jackass out of myself, you mean? You, Tin Horn. There's no open seat in this town. Back on board. You scramble brain son of a bitch, are you trying to commit suicide? You think the sewer forgot how you shot the head off of Whistler, the peacemaker? I'm money bound, Pete. If you think a new handle and specs are gonna hide you, you're snap. You're up shit creek without a bull boat. You're clean out of friends. That include you, Pete? That's a hell of a thing to say to me. You better walk soft in Cheyenne. Tom Custer and the troop of his toss pots are in town on an engine scout. He's made brag he'll turn your lights out if he ever sees you again. Well, I'll peel an eye. Guess I won't see you this side of again, Pete. That won't wet my eyes none. So long, Mr. James Otis, and good luck. 
there's any left. Captain Custer, sir. Christ's sake, Corporal Kylene, staying at ease. Hey, Patty, bring us another joke back here. What is it, Captain? Captain, sir, Sergeant Scott reports that he just saw Wild Bill Hickok come in on the Open Unlimited. God. Damn! He's using a different handle, James Otis, and hiding behind a pair of dark specks. What the hell he's doing here? Well, sir, the sergeant thinks he's here after gold or on the trail of that white buff we sighted in the Black Hills last August. I don't give a damn what he's after. But him and Patty being old friends, sure his son up sooner or later. He'll head right for here and find me. By God, at last I have that hat trick of bastard in my sights. Kylene, get your ass over the depot and tell Sergeant Scott to hang on Hickok's trail. I want to know exactly where he goes. Shake it out. What's the ruckus, Captain? Back in Hayes City in 69, he caught and killed my horse from under me. Back shot to my best soldiers. That's a bucket of hot air. Bill never backshot nobody, not in his whole life. You call me a liar, Patty? I'm saying you a blind drunk. Since I was bartender that night, I ought to know. You're looking to wear a marble hat. The truth is, it was your two sods who tried to backshoot Hickok and lost. Then he killed your nag to keep it from killing one of us. What with it jumping up on the billiard table and all. You want me as an enemy, Patty? You never did give me goosebumps, Tom. Captain, you're right, sir. Hickok's coming here now. He's just outside. I've got him. You hug that ball and keep your trap shut unless you want to die like him. Miles, take Kylie and jump that son of a bitch when he comes through the door. And hey, Miles, you and the boys make him dance before I knock him off. Yes, Tom. Come on, man, we're going to have a little fun. Let him dance to the tube! Tom Custer tried to brace you. He's lit out hell for Hades. You took a chance, Patty. I owed you. Not that much. I heard Poker Jenny works here. Oh, she's a widow Shermerhorn now. Going north to a wolf roost called Fetterman. To open an old place. Well, I happen to be going that way myself. Bill. The word is out, the Sioux are riding the Bozeman Trail like Irish banshees. So keep your pistol cocked. Thanks, buddy. Bucky! Hey! Get the collars, you sway by chat bellies! Get up there! Rony, you lazy bastard! Yes, sir, Mr. Otis. Old hard-ass Custer has tossed the bear into the beehive this time. You have a case against gold? Why do you think I'd be bouncing around this bone breaker on my way to that shitty little rat hole called Fetterman if I didn't suck after gold? Huh? Well, what's your tongue, Mr. Coxey? You know, when that boy general done planted his boot down in the Black Hills, why, he invited those friggin' featherheaders out on the warpath. By the time those scalp hunting sons of bitches are through, there's going to be a thousand bloody nightcaps betwixt here and the Missouri. You have a filthy mouth. Hmm? There's a lady at hand. You mean her? Any more?
more hard tongue from you, you'll settle with me. Take him kindly, Mr. Otis. You mind your manners, Mr. Coxie. <laughs> these chowder heads off to the booth. We have more important business over here. Get him inside. Get a hold of old Jim's boots before he catches his death of cold. Well, uh, leastways, you sprinkle a little pepper on him. Jesus sakes, if you ain't old lightning. And all the time I was thinking you didn't know beef from bullshit. This lady's walking the streets of glory. God damn. Blue Whistler must have caught her right in the third eye. Maybe you'd better ride up on the box with me. Doesn't make any sense. No sane Indian would ride the warpath in this kind of weather. No sense at all, not even for a Sioux. Well, he ain't worrying about it none. Why should you? Hit it now! Come on! Hit it! Get out of here! Yeah, 
Yes, she is, partner. Batterman. Meet Tropolis and the Bozeman Trail. Turn in a nine pit sight. Yeah, Bus hunters. Who beefed them? Each tother after they made glass out of two quarts of old coal. This one with the gray socks. Said he'd been charred by a white buff back in the Black Hills near the Elk Mountains. This one with the moccasins allowed us how this one was a fart tongue lying asshole. Well, the last white spike was put in a hole down on the Cimarron last month. Amen. When you get through planting them two, I got three more customers for you inside the coach. And I believe they got enough money to pay for their own boxes. Right kindly, are you able? You better lay them out in the snow till I get back. Keep them fresh. You think that buff hunter really did see a white spike? No, nah, most likely just sue smoke to keep the whites from gold hunting in them hills. <laughs> Look after my plunder while I find a place to roost. There's only one place to roost. This is Shermerhorn. God almighty, the cats. Hope they're all right. Yeah. You know, this bad-eyed geezer give me $10 to scare up all the stray cats I can find in Cheyenne. Would this geezer sporting a bad eye go calling himself Charlie Zane? Yeah, that's the bastard. You know him? I know. behind at the stove. Like some coffee? Strong enough to float a colt. I'd be forever in your debt, ma'am. Never mind the fancies. I'm Mrs. Schumerhorn. My pleasure. Do I know you? James Otis, ma'am. Don't know any Otis. But you sure sin remind me of... Turn around. Poker Jenny, I believe. Oh, Bill. You four blushing son of a bitch. You cold decked me. Mm, if you ain't a sight for a widow in weeds. Oh. Mm. <laughs> Always good get your mounted fast, good night. Such talk. How long ago was it when we pleasured in Hay City? Seems like forever, cat eyes. It's been that way for me, too, Jen. What brings you up in this neck, huh? Custer's gold. Oh. Yeah. Well, there's a heap up in those black hills. I'm starving you to death, cat eyes. You wait right here. Guess you heard about me and Luca Schumerhorn getting used, huh? Just about the same time I heard you were a widow again. Don't be a bastard. Lucas was a lucky man, Jen. Thank you, Cat Eyes. Why do you always call me Cat Eyes? <laughs> Ain't you ever seen those wild eyes of yours when you're loving it up? Or when you're hitching your pistols on for shindy? I'm a man of comedy. <laughs> I've always dodged a fight. Comedy? Sure. You're the most polite of shooters who ever blew a man's brains out. Too done in to even argue about it, Jen. <sighs> Why don't you let me put you to bed in my room? Ah, huh? oh, Jen, I ain't got the gumption for it. Oh, 
Well, that'll be the day. Truth. You just lie still then. I'll fly the eagle. No, Jen. Sometime back, one of your scarlet sisters dosed me proper. I'm not about to ride a high horse. Hell, I probably gave it to you myself. I'll take the chance. But I won't. Or I get eyes. You take yourself a sound snooze. But since you're a gambling man, I bet you're six, two, and even when you wake up. I'll talk you into it. We'll see. I'll leave the door open in case you need anything. Again, with Satan himself. It's all right, it's all right. But you damn near drowned me. Where the hell did that thing come from? When Billy Cody was was shooting meat for the railroad, they thought it'd be a good stunt to pass out buff heads to all the neighbors. And they gave you a white buff head? You a doxy? That's worth 2,000 gold. It ain't real. I mean, I had it painted. I, I put in the pink eyes. Oh, Jesus. I'm sorry, Jen. I'll get it mended. I want to see it again. Now, oh, Elspeth, did the time to come for neck or nothing? You found your man. Phil, has that sickness gone to your head? This damn dream, Jen. Hangs on like a low water leech. If I don't kill this buff, the dream will kill me. Like my my own fate was chasing me into the grave. You got to turn away from it, Phil. I got to call it out. Not a dream. The only way. But don't worry, Jen. I'll be going in the morning. Frozen dogs a hellhole. Keep a wall at your back. You're alone up there. I'm used to that. Bill, I lost my bet. No, Jen, I did. Charlie, come on back when you got some iron in your barrel, and it'll be my tree. Yeah. Well, thank you kindly, Frida. Ah, uh, Jim, you in good luck today, because you're going to meet my beautiful freedom. To the Republic.
Steinheimer. All carried in Thames. Name's James Otis. Old timer I'm looking for. Glass eyed goose hisser named Charlie Zane. Princeton, no? Spell a Zane where it's a snow white name. But you got that way because you're scared of redskins. He's been known to puddle his bridges at a Kiowa war whoop. You old fiddlefoot. <laughs> Charlie, you sure cut to find gold up there and not a field of dandelions? Oh, he struck it. And what's a bag shooting claim jumper like you were doing here instead of there? I mean, deer to dig a mine. I had to raise a bankroll. The cats. Yeah. <laughs> Figuring on marshaling this one dog town? Nah, I'll never wear the tin again. I know why you're here. You're on a scout for the white buffalo. Oh, timer, I thought you were too ripe for fairy tales. Well, would you believe from an eyewitness? <laughs> Depends which eye. Oh, don't cornhole me, young sass. How's with General Custer when we hit the nuggets at French Creek? And that lollygagger of a buff challenged the whole goddamn 7th Cavalry to a showdown. It's all coming true. Who are you prattling about? Old time. Straight tongue. You really saw a white spike? Saw? So? Son of a bitch threw half a mountain down on me. Marky, two stiff horns a gem, and mind you, None of that pig pee you spigot out to these swill bellies. I only sell the fizz, friend. I don't make it. Five dollars a bottle. You insinuating with short shirts in this camp, Mr. Uh... Brady is the name. There's a deep foul Caton son of a bitch down in the nations named Brady. Sold six barrels to Chief Moe and his Comanches. And after them stinking redskins got lubricated up, they made a little war. Wiped out half of my outfit. That's a hell of a thing, Mr. Kyleen. Whistling Jack Kyleen? <laughs> well, now, look, Mr. Kyleen, the name Brady is as common as henshit back in the old country. I ain't your man. I'm only an old damn harp out from the States trying to make a roll. And to show you the good faith, the gin is on the house. Somebody generous. Maybe too damn generous. All right, you Jaspers, you've had my table long enough. Let's get out of here. Yeah, you don't say. I just did. Iron. Yep. Watch those height hunters. Sure enough. Mr. Otis, I'll pay you 500 in gold if you'll back me in any play made here tonight. Who are they? Where? Behind your glass eye. The long bean is whistling Jack Kyleen. He's the meanest son of a bitch alive. I was in Julesburg when I saw him cut an Indian trader into 300 pieces for selling a Winchester to Roman Nose. And the Sprague's name is Kid Jelly, a grease spot. And I mean hot grease. No thanks, Mr. Brady. It's not my fight. Well, it damn well might be if Kyleen knows who you really are. Uh, what kind of title are you talking about? I'm talking about what happened down in Cheyenne City two days ago. You're talking yourself to death. Tom Custer and some of his larrigans tried to brace me at Patty Welsh's. Kyleen's kid was one of them. I'll let go. 
Birdie will send the kid over with a couple of free bottles of Old Beach Oil food. When he gets there, he'll drop the word like a buffalo chip. I just heard the plot. Shitty boots out of my way, old man, unless you want to be buried in them. Nah, nah, sonny boy. Didn't your ma never tell you your mouth wasn't made for breaking wind? <laughs> 36 is my caliber. Son of a bitch. You play, you glass eyed gas bag. Cover my back, old son. This is your night, Hickok. But there's going to be another time. Well, let me see you again. I had on you peached. I swear by sweet Jesus, you I didn't. Swear yourself to the hell. Well, Bill Hickok, you too. That's my Bill. Bill. I got them both with one shot. I got them both with one shot. You went up and went down. Well, Cap, your new name didn't last long. Sure use this town up fast. We'd best show a heel in these parts. Question is, which way? New camp forming up north. A place called Deadwood Gulch. Charlie, you know what I hate more than anything else in this world? More than Indians? Even more than dying. What? Just being afraid. What do you mean in there? I mean out there. Easterly? That's Siouxland. Ain't nothing out there but the big open and the Black Hills. And a white buffalo.
then you rubbed out, Captain. Mostly Indians. You really got no gut for Indians, do you? <laughs> like Bill Sheridan said, I ain't never seen a good Indian that wasn't dead. the long gun. I'll take the Winchester. Sarkis chasing one flea bit. Sue egg sucker. What are crows doing in Sioux country? Uh, probably heard about the white buff on the moccasin telegraph. Fifteen, they come. Listen, that red nigger take on. What's the matter in a wet mouse? Don't scare with a hiccup. No chance, though. Fifteen to one. Fifteen to three. You're going to take a hand? I'm 
White Eye. My heart is good. I thank you for helping me kill my enemies. Friend, you are very brave. Come to my council. It cannot be done. Father Sun climbs high, and it is far to the lodges of my people. But I will not forget you, White Eye. Ah, uh, you know damn well brave men don't back shoot, and that redskin's all sand. You gonna let him march out and raise troops? You're prating like a farmer, Charlie. He's after the white buff, same as us. Well, let me finish him now. They would never find out. What? Whether or not he knows where that white spike is. Time to shake out around. A seal! A seal! What the hell? They, they walked into solid rock. No, there's a cave up there. That's where we'll camp tonight. What about old Nicodemus? He won't hang around. Damn sure. Not in my nightmare. Some more of these, Charlie. You really going in that black hole at Calcut? I've got a friend.
Ralph Spawn's gone. There's another hole back there. He knows his way back. It's not in my dream. There has to be snow. Heavy snow. I sure as hell wish you hadn't said that. Spike has killed the mayor. He's high tails to the other side of the mountain. For God's sake, Cap, wait up! Stop! Stop! 
put down roots. The Colts will never cut it. There's snow on the wind. Wait it out. Get out of here, damn Lobo. Or skin you like. The demon is dead. My thanks to you. What are you whites doing in this land? This is Pasipa, the country of the Lakotas. These mountains belong to me. Now, the Thunderbird is eating the sky. Soon. Plenty of snow. Come to my council, my brother. We will make good medicine. Why, Cola, I am calling, my friend. suit on that child, you'll answer to me. That snow ossify your brain? I gave him my word. Your word to a redskin? Come on, chap. That's like shoveling fleas in a barn. <laughs> Just get the hell back there, grow a fire, and make some grub. Wash day. Welcome, friend. Are you the Washishu? We Sioux call Ukuti, the shooter, the one who killed Whistler, the peacemaker? What kind of a question is that between friends? Are you the murderer called Hickok? The Cheyenne call me Pahaska. Long hair? Long hair. Come on back when you're ready. Now let me tell you something, son. Trusting Jehovah himself can be a touchy business. But when you start betting your poker on that red cat skinner, you are drawn to an inside straight. Something about it. Uh, just another buck on the warpath. Oh, he's not. He's not just an ordinary buck. Can't you see the way he wears that eagle feather? Like a chief. Jiggers. Watch there. Come in, come in. Long hair. I saw that you do not own a long gun. This I took from the demon. It is yours. Many thanks. But the long gun my friend's been shooting, this one belongs to me. He doesn't own one.
Thanks, Sonny, but the fact is I ain't got nothing good enough to swap you. You give me shelter and you share your food. Ah, oh, that ain't food for all, eh? But wait. Hang it up. I got a proper geek off. What do they call you? Yerisu, Bielo. I am Small Snake. No, I don't think so. You are Little Snake? Worm? Worm. Worm, yes. I am called Worm. How is the old one called? Cheyenne call him Ochini. One eye? The same. The great white warrior of Sand Creek? You speak crookedly. This cannot be true. He thinks your glass eye is real. Oh? That's enough, Charlie. My friend's a clown. There's no magic. It's glass, like beads. It's not real. But is he truly Ochenny? He's truly one eye. Thanks, the grub. I'm going to fix up a real pea warm for breakfast. Off steaks and flapjacks. When it comes to belly cheating, I really shine. <laughs> Start shining because I have a feeling our friend Worm has a wolf in his belly. Long hair. We must make our water on these stones. I don't think of that white buffalo's going to turn tail at a little sprinkling of pee. It is the way Brother Wolf marks his hunting grounds, and the buffalo respects the wolf. <laughs> words. This buffalo is mine. The hell you say. That buffalo will belong to the hunter who kills him. Mine alone. Well, cat, seems like we found ourselves a porcupine to play with. Just ride easy, Charlie. Let's fix that wall. Long hair, why are you whites in my country? We did not ask the whites to come here. The great spirits gave us these hills as a home. You say, why do not we become civilized? We do not want your civilization. You've spoken red truth. Tell me then white truth, long hair. In the first place, the great spirit 
did not give you these hills. You took this land by force. You took it from the Cheyenne, the Shoshone, and the Arapaho. You took it with the lance and tomahawk. But now the white man makes war on you. What's the difference? The whites have no honor. A white man walks death, comes out of season. That's a thing called progress. It's a thing called greed. Tell me this. Am I evil because my skin is red? Is it a wicked thing that I was born where my father was born? Is it a bad thing that I would die for my people? It's still red truth and not real truth. Tell me this true truth, then. <laughs> Give Red John the word. Tell the little rooster he's extinct. One. When Sitting Bull was a boy, the Sioux could throw 10,000 warriors into battle. Today, it's the white man's turn. Those that you have seen on these hills and on the plains are like a handful of beads. There are many. They are more than the blades of spring grass, more than the buffalo when they smother the earth in their great herds. There is no way to stand against the white man. Their weapons are, are terrible. They have the power. You will bend to the long knives or be broken. You will live as they say or die on their bayonets. That was straight turn, Captain. If such is the true truth, then I will sing my death song. No. I will not have your death. Why not? You are white. First, I am your brother and your friend. Long hair between us, there shall be no war. Well, Cap, snow is stopped, wind's done, and a cockadoodle is holding aces behind his knee. My friend Worm has seen fit to ride out on a scout without cutting our throats. 
which is mighty white of the red ragamuffin. <laughs> yeah, didn't even leave a mouse to have the sign to point the way. For a moment, there was a chance. It was just a chance. Maybe one more day. Ah, hell, I guess there never will be an answer. Well, it all depends on the question, Jack. Come on, let's go. Worm, telling us to clear off. <laughs> and I sure as hell can't wait to argue that point with him. This is the place. This is Armageddon. This is the place of my nightmare. The place where I fought the white buffalo. Well, I'm being Dutchman. First time I ever saw Holcomb come true. We can better ford up in that piney grove and keep the trees at our back. Captain, you sure you want to play this hand? You want to make tracks, Charlie? Two thousand dollars don't much play. You're a dead man. Hell or heaven? If this is the night I was born for, so be it. Amen. Better take the Winchester. You only got one shot in that. All it takes. Don't freeze. Holding a hooker's heart. I'll back you up from here. Wolf! The 
It's warm. You want I should rub him? No, a shot might scare away the spike. Maybe that demon horned bag of tricks is Flim Flanders. He's here. I know he's here.
Well, how's he, dear? Hell no, he's run off. <sighs> he's clear to Christmas by now. You use your gun. I am war chief of the Oglalas. I could not use the white man's iron. This bull had to be taken in the old way. Until I slew this bull in the old way, I could not wear my own name again. You're crazy, horse. Oh, Pahaska, my friend. Truly, we have suckled at the same mother. Truly, we are brothers born from the same belly. Mountain of meat, huh? <laughs> Who got him? The hoots. Well, they'll never even know he's dead. The robe belongs to one. God damn you, Hickok. Damn you and your red rooster. And you can't do it. You can't throw two thousand dollars gold on a on a maggot meal papoose. Charlie, I'll make it up to you in Cheyenne. So you went and got yourself some red religion, huh? Well, you can tell your blood brother to shove it up his ass. We're quits. Try it on, old timer. Stop scaring me, Cap. I only got one clean pair of drawers left. You sanctimonious son of a bitch. You have lost a friend. So it seems. And found one. Done. It is done. I cover the little one. 
the robe. You will be healed and well and whole in the other world. Do you have the right to wear your own name again? And then I'll be saying goodbye, crazy horse. Hey, Cox. You heard one night call my name? Yes. You are Ukute, the shooter. The one who killed Whistler, the peacemaker. There was another time. I was young, headstrong. It was a bad thing. Can't be undone. I will tell no others. But long hair, though you and I are brothers, we must never meet again. Hear me, my friend. These are my words. We must never cross paths in the tomorrow. For if we do, I will see only a white enemy. And you will see only an Indian. And we will both solve the great mystery. Ohinyan, long hair. Ohinyan. Forever.
anyone in the upper, you'd have sent him to hell on a shutter. Sorry, Mr. Bixby. By God, Mr. Otis, you will stow those damned irons in your carpet bag, or I'll stop this train and set you out in Wyoming on your boots. In September of 1874, Wild Bill Hickok came back to the Old West. I didn't place him then because he was wearing a different name and he had a strange bee in his bonnet. A deadly dream that was eaten out his soul. A nightmare that he had to hunt down and face up to before it turned him into a raven maniac. I ought to know, I was there. Morning, Mr. Otis. Good morning. I regret the flummery of last night. Well, at least now I understand why it happened. I wish I did. You don't have to kick chips with me, son. Time back, you caught yourself a cold in the pants that just wouldn't let loose of you, right? It's a scar that never heals. First, it gets into your eyes. They can't stand the daylight, even a bright moon. Then it rattlesnakes into your brains. You start dreaming nightmares. All bad. This white buffalo keeps charging me, real as rain. Well, son, <laughs> that dream is safe enough. The last white spike was put down by Prairie Dog Day Morrow last month. <laughs> Way to heaven gone on the Cimarron. <laughs> Where you headed? Mr. Otis, a tenderfoot like you isn't thinking of staking a claim in the Black Hills. Says there, new land of promise. It don't promise nothing but a quick grave in a soup boneyard. Uh-oh. -uh.
Where is the little one? It is not fitting that the war chief of the Oglalas weeps like a young woman. Therefore, I take away your true name. You shall be called Worm. Where does her body lie? At Enchanted Mesa, above the lake, we placed her far from the whites and safe from wolves. It is time you sought out the holy bull, the little one will be forever tortured in the other world until you wrap her in his white robe and cleanse her spirit of its pain. sacred voice, I call you. With a weeping heart, I ask this. Help me to find the white buffalo. My voice is on the smoke. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you for watching. Please check back soon for more uploads.